And good evening to you from the Parc des Princes here in the French capital, Paris, the venue for tonight's action. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And it is the season of giving. We come bearing the gift of football for you. It's Paris Saint-Germain and they take on Troyes. Yeah, that's all right, Derek, but where's my gift from you? Well, sorry, Stuart. There are those who think my middle name is Ebenezer. That's about right. But as a football fan, I love these festive fixtures. There's always a great buzz around the ground. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Ashraf Hakimi plays with Bernat as fullbacks. Angel Di Maria starts with Kylian Mbappe in the wide areas. And the lead striker today is Lionel Messi. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, it's a very defensive system which doesn't allow them to press the ball high up the field. So they need to stay compact, win back possession, and then counter attack from there. It's not going to be easy, though. And so the match is underway. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Mama Baldi. It's with Chevalera. Could play it in. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. And there's the delivery, and still dangerous. Threat over for now, it seems. Well, as you see, flashed up on the electronic board, ici c'est Paris. Here in Paris, it's difficult for the opposition, and PSG's home record backs that up. Well, eight wins from the last nine games. Oh, they you. could put it away, Stuart. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one well here it is again and I don't expect goalkeepers to save everything at their near post but on this occasion although it's a good strike he should do better so underway again here 1-0 the score Good tackle. Chevalera. Fluency of movement. Well, they're doing their best to get on level terms here. Well, it's a decent effort, but they're still trailing. They need something special here. Ronaldo. Di Maria. Verratti. On to Messi. Can they create something from here? But it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. Mama Balde. And room now out on the flank. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Could cross it in here. And a chance to level it. A goal! Real excitement. A back-and-forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions of the keeper. 
He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. And the emphasis is on creativity. Can he play it in? Useful ball to the near post. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was always going to be claimed. Romainique Kouami. Just cutting off the supply. What can they do to stop him running at them? But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Wijnaldum. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free-kick situation? Well, the free kick had just a bit too much height on it. Well, when he struck that, he must have thought that was going in. It's only a whisker away. <laughs> Romainique Kouame. Chavalera. Moving it forward. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Can they stop it going in? And he's certainly in the mood for his second. Well, he's certainly looking a threat. He looks so sharp today. Who can he pick out? And a really powerful effort, but just over the top. Well, I think, Stuart, it's going to leave a sour taste in the mouth of Angel Di Maria, this performance. Well, the touch map tells us everything. He just hasn't been able to get on the ball in dangerous positions. Yes, he's been well marked, but he has to do a lot more to find space, I think. So, two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Lionel Messi... And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. And so the match is underway. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. A goal. Real excitement, a back and forth type of game. Now they're level. Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good call. Well, the free kick had just a bit too much height on it. Well, when he struck that, he must... Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins.
Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. And PSG couldn't hang on to it. Tuzgar. It's with Chevalera. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Lionel Messi. Well, that's the kind of player you want from your defender. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. Let's get the latest on the... Well, he couldn't get the header on the target, but robust defending. <laughs> Verratti Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet Doesn't want to lose his cool here Pressing high to win the ball Verratti Oh, tremendous goal Technical excellence to finish that one off Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. So back underway, intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Committed challenge. Messi. Well, he keeps going. Herrera. Well, able to close down the shot. Renault Ripar. And scope for them to produce something exciting. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And players waiting in the centre. Just not testing the keeper at all with that cross. Now, what can Lionel Messi do from here? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Can they keep it going? Oh, a clinical counter-attack. And so close to a goal. Well, that's exactly what they're looking to do. Force the turnover and then break at pace. So close to a very good goal. Well, the final whistle is almost upon us. PSG would dearly love to hear it. Will they get the win here? Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, it's been a decent performance from them. They've certainly played the more expansive football and had the better individuals. Can they now just see this through? Not long left. And into an attacking position. It's not too late for them. In with a chance. And a goal to level the top late on here. Just look at the reaction. Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. Now back underway, dead level, 2-2. PSG on the attack as the minutes stick away. What can they do in the closing phase? But quick thinking defensively.
And Messi in full control of the ball here. Clean challenge. Giraudon. Tardieu. So two minutes to be added on at the end. A bit of running room now on the wing. Could be! Well, he had clearly drifted into an offside position. Well, you can see from his reaction, he knew that wouldn't count. And that is it for the 90 minutes. Level pegging here. Well, the ball rolling again, no end to the action. It's the first period of extra time, and I must say, this has been a back-and-forth type of game. Oh, what an opportunity! Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Mbappe. On to Messi. Messi. Mbappe in the center. And he's clear his lines. Mama Balde. Now let's see what they can do here. And let's give credit to the defending. Possession changing hands. Won it back. Sliding in, winning the ball, and what's more, they've kept it. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. And the advantage is with PSG. Under Herrera. Losing possession. Can they hit on the break? And that puts them in position. Is it going to be? And the keeper caught there. Well, you just never know about chances near the end. You've got to be opportunistic. Will this corner do it? Played over. Oh, a vital save. And it remains all even. Well, there you have it. He may just have saved his team here. So the corner played into the box. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. Inside the final five minutes of extra time. And a penalty shootout might well be in this game's future. Chavalera. And a goal at this stage could be decisive. Dangerous ball. Well, he got the touch on the ball. And so a corner it'll be. Who can he pick out? I couldn't really direct it where he wanted. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. He's in behind.
Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. And there's the final whistle, and we can confirm a victory for Paris Saint-Germain. What did you think of their overall display? Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team, and they deserve their victory.